Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Major from Major Honey. Four days ago, and it was one of those shoot from the hip, spiral the moment things, you know, that uh, I didn't really have time to. I was just going to look real quick, and I'm still not used to getting my camera and, you know, getting you know doing videos it's just not nothing i'm accustomed to yet and so i had to do something in this box right here i had a, a double eight right here but i did a full inspection on them and there was no queen okay and so i didn't want to wait because there was so many bees in it and the and we're getting ready to go into a, a nectar flow i didn't want to wait i didn't want to put eggs in it and wait the 16 plus days, it's gonna be 16 days time they draw a queen cell and she has it, hat, hatches out. Then another three to five days for her to mate and before she starts laying eggs. So you, you're looking at a good 20 to possibly 25 days before you're gonna have eggs in the box. And then another 20 some day before they, for those eggs, ha, you know, hatch into worker bees. So really throw your honey production back. So what I done was, it's an old timey method. It's called the newspaper merge method. I took and shook all the bees down to the bottom box, right? I put a piece of newspaper over it, and then I set this, set the empty eight frame back on top of it. I took one of my splits that I had made, one of my last phase of splits, a single five frame, and then I put that single five frame with queen in the top box. Typically, it takes them two to three days to chew through the newspaper. And then by then, they have got accustomed to that queen's pheromone, and then they'll all, then they'll, then they will merge as a single colony. And, you know, there's always the chance that they might chew through a little faster or something and kill that queen. You never know. It's sort of a, it's a chance you take. But if it, but if it works, then it, you're, you're golden, you know, so, and then now they're going to be producing new bees and making me some major honey. Now, I'm going to, I'd come out yesterday and because of the, and then tore some of the newspaper out around from and it, and it did rain a couple days, but you can see where they had chewed through the newspaper. See the newspaper down here is like fuzzy and almost green looking, you know, where I think it's probably got mixed with some type of pollen or something. And uh, so we're going to go into this box and see what's going on. See if the, see if the queen made it. And hopefully they didn't, hopefully they didn't get up through there and kill her. But, uh. You know, I hate that I didn't get a chance to video it, but just so you know, it's pretty simple. If you just lay that newspaper over it, set you another box on there, and then put the other bees on the top box, and in a couple days, they'll chew through it. It's a pretty simple process. So, you can see there's plenty of bees in here. Now, the split that... Um, I put in here was they had probably in the five frame box they probably they probably had three or four of the frames that they were working on so it wasn't it wasn't a huge split but the key factor was that it had a a healthy the bees were healthy and it had a good laying queen Okay, she was laying brood. She was laying eggs. Already had some cat brood, so I took that whole five, that whole that five frame, and put it in here, and then filled it in with other frames. So we're gonna see where they're at. And I might pull this box off and take the rest of that newspaper out.
See, some, some of the frames was already in this box. I just shook all the bees down to the bottom and then put it back in here. So this frame's full of honey. Or nectar, I should say. It's not quite honey yet. So these outside frames are gonna, was foundation and that was in the original box. This one's also full of nectar. smoke them real good because they're pretty active and it's um, not the ideal <clears throat> day today to be doing an inspection it's been raining cloudy uh, overcast so I see some brood here And this was on a new frame that I put in there, and there's already, that's where uh, I'd come out, and it was some eggs she'd already laid, and then they have finished capping it. Looks like we have a queen cell here. The bees are all over it there. Now, I don't know for sure, but this is what makes me think about now that I see a queen cell. It means they didn't accept her and they killed her and or it could be a, what we call a practice practice cup we'll see I'll give them a few more days and we'll go from there but but that's the chance you take you know, either they lock her or they don't. Unless we can see her, there's no... Or see some one-day-old eggs, there's no way to know for sure if she's still in here. This cat brood here. Another queen cell. Let me move this around so you can see it. See there on the end. Now, this was not my ideal method of, this was not the outcome that I was looking for. And that has a larva in it, so. And there's a lot of, I don't know if they just got crowded that quick and done that or not, but I see see young larva within a few days old here on top I'm going to walk out here to the sun and see if I can see any eggs Okay guys, on the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but there, there is eggs. 
one two a old eggs here eggs right there in the corner so that means the queen's still here but this means that they got crowded they was already crowded and they was needing a queen so they was well there was a lot of bees there and they really needed a queen so i gave them a queen but they was still in oh my gosh we need a a queen so they've pulled out they was already in that mode so they've pulled out two queen cells so far now they're not quite capped and i'm gonna give them a few days come back in and there's a good chance i might just depends on what i got going on but what i decide to do i'll have to give it some thought and see but i may take that queen cells and make me a couple splits or for swarm management purposes i might just cut them out or give them away the queen she's looking for somewhere to lay there she is well so that definitely whoop, and she rolled around back on the other side she's moving around quick I don't even she was so fast I don't even know if you even got a chance to see her or not So here she's got a dark on the end of her tail. Let me pick the camera up. Oops, I didn't mean to do all that. Maybe you can get a better look. See her? Pretty. She's looking for somewhere to lay. So, they, I went through a couple scenarios. Hey, maybe they killed her and they pulled out a couple queen cells. Or, you know, maybe she's not here. But, hey, no, no doubt now that she's here. So, So yay, that worked. The newspaper method worked. Okay. But you know, I did have to crowd them for the couple, three days until they could get up into this box. So all these bees you seen, majority of them, except for what bees was in the five frame, was in this box. And I shook them all down to the bottom box and forced them in there. Not really forced them, but you know what I mean. I shook them down there and then put the newspaper on there and they didn't have nowhere to go. So that put them into, looks like that put them into a swarm mode type deal once they seen, once they seen some eggs that they could pull some queens out on. They went into a swarm mode. But <clears throat> that's okay. It's no big deal. key factor is that we got a queen laying getting ready to have a, a nice a nice nectar flow so and we are queen right that's what I like to see Excuse me, I smoked myself there a little bit. 
Now, I am still feeding the feeding them some because they still have thin foundation to pull out, and we're, they're calling for rain here tomorrow or the next day. So I want them to continue to work on these rainy days, and that's why the new foundation that I have in it has been pulled out because I give them that sugar water during these rainy days and they were still able to work and and pull out the foundation okay so I've got one two three four five six seven eight I got nine more that I need to look at sometime in the next few days I may get to look in some of them today but I'm trying to keep my videos short because I don't want people to have to sit around for 30 minutes watching a video because you know everybody's time is valuable but it'd be nice to get a little bit of info in in a short amount of time so what I might end up doing is maybe do it in segments where there'll be smaller videos and um, that way I can just put them on put them uh, load the videos up and they'll be in different segments and you can just don't have to spend so much time watching them but this is major with major honey like subscribe feel free to comment and uh, if you have any questions or anything i'll be glad to help you any way i can thanks i appreciate you